Hi, this is Vicki Gilforth Parnell, and I have come to share an official proclamation that was given to me uh, by the angel Gabriel today. Today is 1623. This was at 535 p.m. when I started praying. Um, I prayed for about an hour and a half, and um, then Gabriel and some of the angels appeared. I am to start with this verse, Revelation 22, 6. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Revelation 22, 6. Before we get, begin, I would like to pray. I will say this is one six twenty three, and I start praying at five thirty five p.m. and it and the visit ended at eight twenty two p.m. It is the official proclamation of war, three days of darkness, and divorce. So please pray, Father God. I come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask you to lead how you want this prayer to be prayed over these people, over these videos, Lord, and, and the writings, whatever, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would send this proclamation forth, this word forth, Lord, from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Father, your word will not return unto you void, but it will accomplish every single thing you set it out to do that you please it to do, Lord. As Isaiah 55, 11 tells us in your holy word, your infallible word. So, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Oh, I praise you, Lord. I praise you. Lord, I stand in the power of your name and through your blood I am redeemed. I am washed and I am forgiven. I am a child of God and I know Jesus. I know with all that's in me you are my Savior that you rose you came to this earth as a baby, lived as a man, gave your life, rose again victorious. And there's only one way to heaven, and it is through you, and it is by grace that we're saved and not by works. So I give you praise. Now, Lord, this is a battle. And those that choose not to battle, I don't understand that. And I don't pick my fights, but you have told me every one of these videos would have an attack for me to pray in advance. So that's what I'm doing. I'm being obedient, Lord. So every plot, every gin, which is a snare and a trap, every plot, every gin, every snare, every device, every arrow, <coughs> every sickness, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Every electronic device, every technological device, every spiritual device, every physical device that has been formed against me, this ministry, my family, this word, this proclamation from going out, whether it be through video, audio, or through reading, I come against it and cancel it in the name of Jesus. And I stand on Isaiah fifty four seventeen, which says, no weapon formed against us will prosper. Doesn't mean they will not form, but they shall not. Shall not. It says shall not. Shall not. Not should. Maybe not prosper. Shall not prosper. I stand on your word. And Lord, even, even if prospering is my death, if I was to die, we are to count it all, all glory. When we go to heaven, to live is to die, to die for you, to live in you. What's the worst that can happen to us, Lord? Someone can take our life if you allowed it, only if you allowed it. And us get to be with you. I'm good, Lord. I am good. So every plot, gin, snare, device, every witchcraft, every occultic symbol, every pendant, amulet, every device, spiritual, witchcraft, I bind you. And I cast you down and I trample you 
and I cancel you out. Now, every gainsaying, every gossiper, every liar, Father God, in the name of Jesus, you said, Vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord, I will recompense. So, Lord, I just pray that that goes back to them, and you handle the judgment. And I pray, Lord, that you hold these things, though, not to charge, not to their charge on my account. I forgive them. I love them. And I will. I'm. I want everybody to go to heaven, but I know that's not the case because each person has a choice. So, Father God, those people that have eyes to see, ears to hear, a heart that's softened, bondages removed, where they can hear the truth, send this out. Send this out to them, Lord. Those that be of fertile ground, fertile soil, that it's not going to the seed, you're not going to fall and shrivel up, or Satan snatch them away. Send it out, Father. Send it out as only you can in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, I stand before you on judgment day for every word that I give, and I give every account. No man takes my place, nor do I take theirs. And I tremble in fear, God, when I stand here in your name. But you have you've commanded me to do this, and I will do this. In Jesus' name. But Lord, I pray you shut me down. Totally down. And not let this go forth. If it is not meant to be. If it is not of you. Because God, I have laid it before you. In prayer. And I have been seeking you. And you have said it's got to go out. So I am going to be obedient. Regardless of what any person says or thinks. Because Lord. Because. When they speak against the Holy Spirit in me. They're slandering the Holy Spirit and they're close to blasphemy. So, Father God, I pray for those that's not 100% sure, 100% sure that don't know me or my fruit, that you deal with them, God, so that they don't eventually slip off into blasphemy. In Jesus' name I pray. I don't want anybody to go to hell. Especially not for me. Not for coming against me, Lord. I don't know, no. So, Lord, let your perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven in all things. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bear with me. I love you. I love you, Lord. It would seem some people know how, and I'm not going to go into this, just pray, know how to effectively use 5G to make people appear sick. But no weapon formed against you shall prosper, so stand on the word of God. All right, this is the official proclamation of war, three days of darkness, and divorce. And again, um, it was 1 6 23, which is today, and the Lord told me it had to go out today. At 5 35 p.m. is when it started, and 8 22 is when it ended. Prayer, visitation, all of it. And it started with Jesus talking to me. Darkness comes, daughter. It does come. I am fighting your battles for you now, daughter. Watch me work wonders on your behalf. All of a sudden, I hear. Hear ye, hear ye, daughter of the kingdom of the Most High God. I bring you tidings from heaven's court. Jesus, I know that voice. I sense now a holy presence in my living room. More so than normal. I'm turning my head from where I am kneeling. It's the angel Gabriel. But he's not alone. May I get up? Yes, beloved daughter of heaven, you may. Gabriel is standing before me, still armor clad, as in prior times. But this time he has wings extended behind that are somehow folding and becoming invisible to my sight. I apologize, there's some that he will not let me share. Just the proclamation. Some of it was private. I look over at Gabriel and I smile at him slightly, letting him know he has my attention. Jesus, give me true understanding to all that's occurring. I ask in your name, please. Granted, daughter. Now please listen. Yes, Jesus, my love. I watch as Gabriel glances briefly at the other angels 
then gave her steps one step forward. Oh, daughter, I have, I come in official capacity of holy messenger. Hear me now, then proclaim all that I have to share and nothing more, that I tell you to share and nothing more. I lead you to share. I apologize. Hear me now, then proclaim all that I lead you to share and nothing more. I want to get it exactly as they said it. Yes, Gabriel, I understand. Gabriel has produced a scroll that had that he had carried in what looks like a tube or a scroll holder. It has a belt that you wear over one shoulder or the strap. The strap is gold and the carrying case is gold too. I watch as Gabriel opens the scroll holder quickly. The four angels accompanying Gabriel have all their weapons drawn, bows and arrows and lances, with each having a sword, a gleaming sword, on each hip. My eyes are drawn back to the angel Gabriel as he removes the elegant-looking scroll from the decorated golden scroll holder that looks like it has intricate scroll work carved into it. It's beautiful. It, it was gold, but it had all this carving in it. This scroll is bigger than any he has brought or read from in the past. I watch as he breaks the black seal, and when he does, I feel a slight tremor go through my body. Not of fear, but of dread. Gabriel must have realized because he looked up for a moment from where he had begun unrolling the scroll. Our eyes made contact, and all I saw was gentleness and love, much like what my lovely Jesus' eyes looks like, but not as deep as his, as my love's is. The scroll looks like a thick type parchment made with gold sparkle, sparkles on the back, for lack of better words to describe what I'm seeing. The writing is in black. Excuse me. Here, Lord. I apologize. Gabriel, may I ask a question? Yes, daughter of faith, of grace, of mercy, of understanding, of wisdom, of love, and of faithfulness. Why, when you appear before me, do you always have scrolls, when in the Bible days it doesn't mention there being scrolls when you come? O oh, daughter, you are hearing official announcements and proclamations of a time error in your world's history, the end times. This is why, through heaven's court's decrees, I shall deliver the end time proclamations, announcements, and messages, both official and personal, as in prior visits with the official documentation. Oh, okay. This makes sense. Yes, of course. Now, O oh daughter of heaven, I shall begin unless you have another question. No, no, Gabriel, please forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. I watch as Gabriel fully opens the scroll. But before he begins reading, I hear the sound of a trumpet blast. One short blast, more like what the small shofars sound like, yet it seemed to shake the whole earth and atmosphere around me that sounded like it came from the heavens. Hear, O oh hear, O oh inhabitants of the earth, the times of woes have come. You were warned to repent of your sin-filled ways and return to your God and Creator, Jehovah, through His Son, the risen Lamb, who died for all inhabitants, all those of mankind created by His loving, tender hands. Few have listened. Most have not. This is the official proclamation. On this, your original celebrated Christmas day, the day now that mocks the risen Lamb's Jesus' birth and life by the worship of idol gods, false deities, and religions, when it was set aside originally before the combining of pagan worship with holy observance, this being the official day 
of the sun calendar to worship Jesus, the risen lamb, son of the living God, Jehovah. This on this day is the official proclamation of war. You have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. You have been weighed in the balance and found guilty. I apologize. Now your whole world is to reap the seeds of ill-gotten rewards. On this day of January 6th, 2023, for the for the beloved daughter of heaven's court's calendar, for my calendar, which I'm in, in Tennessee, I declare by order from heaven's court's war, heaven's court war officially comes to your whole world, entwined with three days of darkness. Time within time, by heaven's standards. I speak now to you, O Babylon, which is America. With this declaration, Putin of the bear will no longer be restrained from his prolonged coming attack upon your nation. His hands guides the other nations who have joined the organized coalition by the evil Putin's hands. Be not deceived, people of the earth. All leaders of your world are entangled together in this coming war, and all committed already are found to be of evil hearts, ruled by the master deceiver Satan, the destroyer of all that's good that he touches. What does this mean, Gabriel? It means, daughter, Vladimir Putin of Russia will now be free to fire upon your once great nation of America. Oh no, yes, oh beloved daughter. Hear ye, hear one and all, people of Babylon of America. Your divorce has been finalized from your holy God because of your lewd actions, unfaithful hearts, and abominable actions. No longer will your nation receive the blessings and favor it once knew when under the wing of Jehovah God, Jehovah God's protection. Now only those still faithful to Him, truly faithful in their love for Him, shall still receive these things, plus His protection. Okay, now, I'm going to have to explain something. He had gave me a clue that I was not sharing until now, but I need to share it to understand. He gave me a clue before Yuletide greetings were fully given, before that day is fully over. And Yuletide and Christmas tide, Christmas is what he was talking about. And this apparently, January 6th, is the original Christmas on the sun calendar. You pray about it, seek the Lord. I'm just giving you the word. That's all. I'm just giving you the word. Okay. Gabriel, I was still expecting information before Yuletide greetings expired. Is this not the case? It is the announcement giving Putin the ability to launch his weapons. Putin will fire, and it is because this decree has went out before the Yuletide or Christmas Day greetings have fully transpired. I understand. Is there any more of this decree? Yes, yes, daughter of heaven's courts, there is. O ye people of the earth, this be also the official time of revealing. The revealing of things once hidden, which shall be hidden. The things once hidden, which shall not be hidden any more, but brought to the light. It shall also be the time, the times where the hidden shadows, smoke screens, and mirrors of deception begin being quickly removed. 
on order of Jehovah God, ruler of love, mercy, and justice. Judgment sits on his right hand. Is this all the official proclamation, Gabriel? Yes, upon orders of heaven's courts, the procession of war shall proceed fast forward with no more delays. But it is to be preceded by the three days of darkness, which will cover the whole earth with its outer darkness. This is the official announcement to your world for both the three days of darkness and war, because both events are joined together by way of judgment. Hear ye, hear ye, O inhabitants of the earth. War and darkness comes now to your world. Be prepared in your hearts for these two events, because no one on earth should be left untouched by these events. With these words, Gabriel takes one step backward, then begins rolling up the scroll. And I said, Jesus, Jesus, war's not going to be stopped, is it? No, daughter, it will not be. Right here, sorry, this is information I can't give out. All right. Then Gabriel says, now we must go. I said, thank you. Thank you to every one of you. They all give a slight smile, and then they are gone. And I am in stunned wonderment. Jesus, did that just happen? Yes, little daughter. The official declaration of war in the three days of darkness is the start of the beginning of these two events combined in one as a will within a will. What now, Jesus? You release this proclamation. Yes, Jesus, I will with your help and strength. Done, daughter, done. And again, it ended at 8.22 p.m. Here are the verses that he gave me. The first one I read, Revelation 22, 6. Hosea 8, 7. Deuteronomy 24, 1. Luke 1, 19. Jeremiah 3, 8. Luke 8, 17. Jeremiah 25, 4 through 7. Jeremiah 6, 22 through 26. Please pray about these things. Lay them before the Lord. I have done what I have been commanded to do. He told me it need to go out today because this is what he... This is Christmas Day, originally, according to the sun calendars. And, and I will tell you what he showed me. The Gregorian calendar is just that we have in America, that we use, is a revision of the Julian calendar. So, pray about it, lay it before the Lord. Don't take my word, my mom... My mom was a godly woman. She said, don't you, don't take my word either. Don't take anybody's word. You go to the word of God. So I'm asking you to lay these things before the Lord. Seek him for your answers. I have to seek him myself. Yes, I understand a lot that I can't share. But if you depend on me to totally give you all the answers, and I can't give you all the answers, then you're not seeking the Lord and let Him speak to you and building that relationship. And when you get the word directly from Him, you can hold on to it because you know it's from God. You you received that word. He He spoke to you, and it's not just, well, oh, He said, she said. When he, When our lovely Jesus speaks to you, and you hear his sweet voice or, or open the verse and you know he that verse is just for you that's hard to steal from you that's hard for the enemy to steal from you so again God bless from Tennessee it's getting late here it's like it's 1038 right now but I pray you stay under the blood and I will still have to upload this so it's going to be kind of late Lord willing Unless he moves it quickly. It's in his time. Everything's in his time. I love you all.
I pray for you all. That being said, again, God bless. Hold tight to Jesus. Don't ever let go. From Tennessee, bye-bye.